if it's one thing I'm known for, it's a sleek bun. So let me show you how to get it. First, I'm kind of just getting all the knots out, pushing the hair in the direction that I want it, and making sure not to neglect the back because, believe it or not, people do see the back of your head. I know, crazy. A really good hack is just grabbing some water and just running it through the hair. This is especially good if your hair is clean and you're having trouble sleeking it back. But usually I'm running on day two, day three hair when I'm putting my hair in a sleek bun and I'm kind of just using mother nature to my advantage. And the star of today's show is this boar's head brush. I love this one because it has strong bristles and it's really getting that hair into place. It comes in a two pack on Amazon. Obviously, I will link it down below for you. But seriously, I could not achieve this bun without this brush. So I'm kind of just placing my hair in the place that I want it. Usually I put it like right directly behind the ears and just going in, kind of taking my time, honestly, and just making sure all the hairs are in place. I just like to make sure there's not one hair left behind, not a single fly away. Trust me, it makes the biggest difference ever. And again, getting the bottom. I didn't do this for the longest time and I don't know what I was thinking. It really, really makes a huge difference. And now that I feel we've got all of those hairs in place and we're feeling good to go, the next star of the show is 100% going to be the rubber band that you use, especially if you have thick hair like myself. These ones are also from Amazon. They're so great. If you're not using a thick enough rubber band, you're gonna get stragglers and the hair is just not gonna sleek as well as you want it. And as you can see, I am wrapping that ish around about three to four times. I like it tight. I just prefer it that way. You can do it as tight as you want it and slowly making sure to tighten it because you don't want any little bumps on the side of the head, that is key. And then I just grab my hairspray and I just make sure to put it on my sideburns first. Those are the areas for some reason that kind of just poke out and I just like to make sure those are locked in. I like to hairspray the entire head, the top, the bottom, and of course, just going in with my boar's head once again and sleeking that all into place. And next I like to kind of just brush out my ponytail making sure there's not any knots in it. And this is a really good hack if you have layers and you feel like you have stragglers in your bun. I kind of just like to twist it all the way down. This is really helpful and it kind of just like hides the hairs really well. I just wrap it around and I'm gonna use two rubber bands. Again, you can just use one, but this is really just how I lock it in to place, ladies. And once I have those two rubber bands in, I just decided to put a scrunchie on just to finish up the look. Obviously, this is completely optional. And that's about it, you guys. I do this hairstyle every single day. You guys know if you watch me. This is my go-to. It's clean. It's sleek. And I'm obsessed with it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.